Hey YouTube, Copper San here, and welcome back to today's recipe where we're cooking up the strongest level 10 character the Maple World has ever seen. Why? Well, I realize that I will never be the first level 300 or the strongest level 250, but no one is crazy enough to burn all their mesos on a level 10 character. But first, to create the strongest level 10 character the world has ever seen, I need to do a little research. Because we need to find out the most powerful level 10 class out there to complete the goal of doing 1 million damage at level 10. Jet, for example, has some nice first job skills that does like 135% damage 3 times at max level, but the amount of lines are going to make it hard to hit our 1 million goal. Ho Young does 70% damage 5 times with his first job skills at max level, more lines but low damage percentages, and the same goes for other newer classes like Kane, lots of lines but low damage percentage numbers. Thankfully, after a long and extensive search, I found him, the class that stands on top of all classes when it comes to damage at the earlier levels. Enter Mihil. Yep, our shield boy is back and the most OP class there is at the earlier levels. For reference, at max skill level, Hoyong's first up skill hits 5 times and does 70% damage. Compare that to Mihil's royal guard, which at level 1 at 3 stacks does 440% damage 6 times, plus 1 damage per level, so it actually already does 450% damage at level 10. And this skill also increases my attack power by 20, and I didn't even need to put a skill point into it. With the only damage, Downside being that this is a counter skill, so I have to time it at the right moment when I get hit, else the skill fails and nothing happens, and there is a 6 second cooldown. But that ain't stopping us, and now that we have found our class, it's time to start our preparations. Please do not try this at home, I sank like 3 billion mesos into this meme character just for a few more stats. I even leveled 40 characters to level 200 just for this video so I could have 8k legion. With the help of Legion Solver, I found the most optimal setup to do the most damage. Our goal is to get 100% crit rate at level 10 and buff our critical damage as much as possible since that will be the biggest damage boosts, as well as a ton of flat stats and buffs. And of course, I used a lot of link skills for the most flat damage boosts out there. I had to be careful not to use too many link skills that require stacking, because I'm not supposed to level up past level 10. I even tried dying so I would get reduced EXP, but dying at this level doesn't even give you any debuff. So we had to be careful to not get too much EXP. These are all the link skills that I went with. And then it was time to come for the most costly part of this video, cubing my gear. <laughs> I'm on the reboot server so I cannot transfer any gear, not even from within my own account. So I just bought some level 10 gear in Pyrion and that was all that I could get. I couldn't even Star Force anything because that only unlocks at level 20. <laughs> I used the epic potential scrolls from the legion store to get some of my gear to epic right away and I used regular potential scrolls on the other ones. To save at least some money I used occult cubes to rank up everything from rare to epic. I used a lot of occult cubes, like so many occult cubes man. These things never rank up anything. Then while crying uncontrollably I bought all the black cubes I could in the cash shop. It was time to waste a lot of mesos for minimal gains. If you're a min-maxer, please look away. In MapleStory, the amount of stats you can get from potential is depending on the item level. The lower the item level, the lower the stats of your potential will be. So getting those 2% or 3% strength lines is amazing for this gear, even if some of the items are unique or legendary. I was actually wondering if I could get decent sharp eyes on my gloves, but sadly they just refuse to rank up to legendary like most of my gear. I did manage to roll 3% damage, 8% crit rate and 2% strength on my weapon which was actually pretty amazing and my secondary got to legendary and I rolled 6% attack and 3% crit rate. This together with my link skills and legion it was actually just enough to hit that 100% crit rate mark at level 10. <laughs> and we got a 39% critical damage increase right on top of that. I cubed my gear and got most of my items to unique, most of my gear only gives a little bit of strength so I was really pushing it there for the minimal gains. Satisfied after spending 2 billion mesos, I thought you know what, it's time to put it to the test and see how much damage we can actually do. I used the monster park potion and some other minor attack buff and stat buff potions. I'm not married in reboot so I cannot even get any onyx apples which increase attack by 100 so there's still a lot of room for improvement actually. I went to the copper sand rakes to stack royal guard and then at 3 stacks I moved to green snails as I believe those have the lowest defense out of any monster and also they give very little exp so I don't have to worry about accidentally leveling up after a few tries. Our damage is very unstable due to the lack of any mastery or any skill points in any skill for that matter. It fluctuates a lot between 40k and 150k damage per line, but I didn't see enough 100k lines in one attack so I don't think we actually made it. 
Our average damage is pretty high, but that's not the damage per monster, but on multiple monsters combined, so we need to get even stronger. Time to queue for a few more minimalistic gains. <laughs> After painfully spending another billion, I officially wasted all of my mesos. In the end, I got 2% strength and 1% all stats on my hat, 5% strength on my top, 5% on my bottom as well, 3% on my shoes, and 5% strength and 1% all stats on my gloves. And as you could already see, I've claimed all of my items as well, all providing a very few bonus strength here and there. Those low level items get like no stats man what the heck i ran out of flames and money so even my weapon only has very few bonus strength on it and that was basically it but together with all of this i managed to reach 859 strength not bad considering i have only like seven pieces of gear and they're all level 10 let's stack up again and this time let's also use the angelic buster link skill this crazy link skill is only level 2, but already increases damage by 45% for 10 seconds. This is the time window that we're gonna use to make our dreams come true. Also, many thanks to Spears around for the guild blessing buff. So, we stack again, activate the angelic buster link skill. Alright, now we're seeing some 200k plus lines. We already did 236k damage in one of those lines. Now we just need to be lucky and hit at least over 100k damage per line and then we should be good. Those 6 seconds in between attacks are real nil buyers, man. Our Odin attack left on me looked very promising, 159k, 212k, 195k, 200k, 197, 152, yep, this is it, we dealt over 1.1 million damage, we actually did it, over 1 million damage at level 10, what do you mean power creep is a thing in maple store, you guys don't deal 1 million damage at level 10, I cannot imagine any old school mapler watching this video after not keeping up with the game for 10 years, was this worth all the trouble at mesos, that uh, is debatable, and there is a lot of room for improvement with event buffs and more damage boost. I didn't even use Mihil's link skill for another 15% damage boost. So once I'm married in reboot and I can get some onyx apples and some other damage buffs from events or level 3 angelic buster link skill, I'll try to reach 2 million damage at level 10 on this character. Got any other ideas for any fun challenges? Let me know in the comments. And as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks to Niels the Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Riley Oz, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace, OTI, Safromix, Lonzo, BG Extremes, Andra NHI, Frank Bouguette, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, BeamerWT, Knifesu, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy, Glazen, Brandon Cam, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Machaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zhang, Afterlord underscore MS, Heopan, Simak, Striker Elk, Martin Panzik, Niu, Tidal One Pan, Victor Sundstrom, Radicals the Alien, Riser RU, Gummy Bullet, Lucky Beats, Lovebird, Ref Soli, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Nark, Galando, Bolavia, I'm disappointed. My name is Copper Sand and I'm super cute XOXO. PC Game Life, Yo Mama, Dante Victory, Study Slash Level 241 Paladin Reboot, Caveman, oh yeah, Crazy Ladette, The Passenger, and Gabriel Egg. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling.